<laughs> it seems like you want me to beat the speed of light. Yes, let's beat it. Ow! Well, before we attempt that, let me take some time to answer a speedy question. What if you traveled at the speed of light? Zoom in. So, what is light really? At its core, light is a form of energy consisting of tiny particles known as photons that travel in waves, zipping through space at an astounding speed of 186,282 miles per second. Being the fastest thing in the universe, light naturally sparks our curiosity, leading us to ponder what it would be like to match its incredible speed. Well, sorry to disappoint you, but according to Albert Einstein's theory of special relativity, nothing with mass can travel faster than light. That's because when an object with mass accelerates towards light speed, its mass effectively increases due to the energy added by its motion. For instance, if a thousand kilogram spaceship travels at 10% of the speed of light, its mass increases slightly to about 1005 kilograms. As it accelerates closer to light speed, its mass approaches infinity, requiring an impossible amount of energy to keep accelerating. And since we can't generate infinite energy, reaching the speed of light is impossible with our current understanding of physics. Nevertheless, let's temporarily set aside these limitations and explore what might happen if humans could travel at the speed of light. As our shuttle takes off into space, gaining speed, our first worry would be collisions at high velocity as even a speck of dust could cause massive damage. So to tackle this, let's imagine our ship has an invisible shield that repels dangerous objects, allowing us to explore space worry-free. Now, as our shuttle increases speed, the stars behind us fade and shift to red, while those ahead turn blue due to the Doppler effect. This happens because our high speed compresses the wavelengths of light coming from the front and stretches the wavelengths from the back. Next, as we approach light speed, time dilation occurs, a phenomenon that slows down time for us relative to those on Earth. It means that if we travel to a star 10 light years away, it would feel almost instantaneous for us. But 10 years would pass on Earth, so our friends would age 10 years, while we would age only a tiny fraction of that time. Another interesting effect of special relativity is length contraction. When we move close to light speed, the distance we travel actually seems shorter. From our spaceship, it feels like the whole universe is shrinking in the direction we are going. So our journey to a far-off star takes less time. For us, it might only take seconds, but for people on Earth, thousands of years would pass. However, length contraction is hard to see. If we pass a planet, its length seems squished. But because light from the back of the planet takes longer to reach us, it looks rotated instead of contracted. This is called the Terrell Penrose Rotation. Finally, as we keep accelerating, our view shrinks to a bright spot in front and darkness behind. But no matter how much we speed up, we'll never reach the speed of light. Light will always move away from us at the same speed, making it impossible to beat it in the race. Trivia time! Did you know that light can slow down slightly when it passes through an absorbing medium like water or glass? 
Yes, but its speed always remains constant in a vacuum. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Eva Alfonso. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Here we go, little kitty. Nothing can beat the speed of light. One thing can. What? Interest on a loan. <laughs> Never mind.